Hello. Hi, Tyler. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing freaking amazing. What can I do for you? So I actually called in a week ago today. Let's go. I can't wait and, to hear about it. And let me tell you, every day when I woke up, I dreaded getting up out of the bed <laughs> because I had zero energy. I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old that I have to keep up with, and I look at them like, Y'all are going to be the death of me. <laughs> but since I increased my calories, and since I cut out all the crap, I'm not only down eight pounds in a week, but I have the most energy I have ever. My husband is looking at me like I'm a crazy woman because I'm going around deep cleaning our house because I've never had the energy to do it before. Let's go. How shocked were you? I was... Like, be straight with me. Like, everyone... I got on the scale this morning, and I I literally cried because I was like, I have, ever since I got my PCOS diagnosis, I've never seen numbers drop like that in such little time. And I was like, I don't feel like I'm starving because before only taking in 1,200 calories, I was like... Oh my gosh, I am starving. I'm tired. I need more coffee than normal to function. Like, what is wrong with me? And then calling into you using the free calorie calculator and tracking all of my calories and making sure that I get it in with meats and veggies. I almost sit there and I think, like, wow, we have a whole loaf of bread that's probably going to rot because I'm not going to use it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I've actually passed your lives and some of your videos on to my dad because he is severely overweight. That makes me nervous for him, you know, as his daughter and, you know, having his you know grandkids that I want him to be able to live longer so he can watch them grow. So I'm trying to get him to call into you and have you help him out a little bit. But I think he's nervous. <laughs> no, it's the thing is, is here's here's the thing with you got to think about it for just think of just think of your scenario too, and everybody else watching, and everyone's getting results when they start. But how long did it take for you to actually start? For you to realize it for yourself? You know what I mean? Yeah, I had watched your lives for about a month and um, your Q&As before you started doing phone calls. And then I would just see you like on my 40 page talking about um, the protein shakes and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'm drinking one now. I probably, <laughs> you know. Um, and, but I mean, what you say makes sense, you know. And, and so I, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to call it, and last week when I called in, I was shaking, I was like trembling, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to call somebody that I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what, it's just like talking to an old friend that you like lost contact with for a little bit, and he just wants to help you get back on the up and up. I, I That means a lot to me, and I, I feel like I'm easy to talk to, like... It's it's like it's kind of funny like how much I do these lives and how much I'm talking to people all around the world when I go out now I'm like yo don't talk to me I don't feel like talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I really I don't blame you though cuz and you were on live so long yesterday. I'm going to do it again today cuz I need to update all of these different videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to be live all day long today. I'm going to go to the gym right after this live go gym eat and then I'll go live again all day today probably but <laughs> But with oh, oh yeah, and to let you know, late day is not my friend. <laughs> um, I don't like you sometimes. I think I may say a few uh, bad words and curse your name. But then I'm really thankful for the next couple days, you know, after that. <laughs> hey, I always tell everyone, I'm like, look, I always tell my clients, I'm like, if you hate me after leg day, it's okay. I understand. My legs <laughs> are leg day, trashed. Though. My legs are trashed right now from leg day. And I'm like, God, I hate myself. But um, I I love it. But here, I'm going to talk about this one, though. Like you were telling like with your dad, you want him to start and everything. And that's what I really wanted to talk about. And for everybody out there, don't force someone to do it. 
what I say has helped the most for other people starting is you get results. You keep doing what you're doing. They're going to start to be like, okay, I need to do what they're doing. You, For me, I don't know if this is for everybody else, but when someone tells me to do something, I'm like, I'm gonna do the complete opposite because I don't even wanna hear you tell me what to do. And so Sarah, for example, she's a nurse. She works with tons of other nurses. She's down 80 pounds in a year. Everyone, she told everybody what she was doing and from the beginning, she was getting results and everyone's like, oh, that's ridiculous. You're not gonna be able to sustain this, blah, 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 yada, yada. Now, she's got her nurses doing what she's doing and everyone's starting to do it now. And it's gonna take time for other people to realize it for themselves. I'm that type of person, my mom could tell me to do something a million times and I'm gonna be like, you don't know what you're talking about. And then all of a Absolutely. sudden, it clicks and I'm like, oh. And then I'm like, oh, this was such a great idea that I had. And my mom's like, yo, that was my idea. I said this a year ago. Yeah. So. Yeah, I uh, I tried to like, I come from a big Italian family. So we have pasta every Saturday. And I love pasta, but I went and got myself a zucchini squash. A spaghetti squash, not zucchini squash. Spaghetti squash. Prepared that. Brought it in my little container. You ate the meat sauce along with the salad. And then when I came home, grilled myself up some veggies. And it, my whole family was looking at me. They're like, what are you eating? <laughs> I was like, spaghetti squash. They're like, why? I was like, um, because, you know, our carbon intake is really unhealthy in this house. <laughs> It is in America. And it's funny when everyone's like, why do you demonize carbs? I'm like, well, why is it that we take out all these carbs and sugars and all of a sudden we lose weight, our A1C goes down, people are reversing type two diabetes, people are getting off cholesterol medications, people are losing weight, people's blood pressure is plummeting, uh, people are getting healthy, people are getting better hair growth, skin and nails. Um, oh yeah. I don't, I don't My know. My brother just spent 14 days in Italy and he came back and he was like, the food in the U S is trash. hundred percent. What they have in Italy. He's like, it's fresh. It's not, he goes, you can tell that there's so many processed things. The pasta the is a completely oh. different world in Italy. It's a completely different color. Yes. In Italy than it is here because they have to process it in order for it to sustain shelf life and be okay. Versus, I mean, and my brother walked around, he was like, you didn't see like one overweight person. And if you saw an overweight person, you knew that they were traveling. Yeah. It's it's so true and it's it's sad to say, but we are literally the laughing stock of the world. Every other country calls America the fat America. Oh, absolutely. And it's just so funny, like it's it's kind of you bring this back to childhood stuff, like playing playing video games online and like in the headsets, people talking all around the world. Everyone in a different country would always be in their British accent being like, you fat Americans, go eat a cheeseburger. And I'm like, whoa, I got abs. Take it easy. I'm not fat, but it's... I'm not one of them, but... It's, it's just so... It's it, it's so true, though. Like, other countries look at America and they're like, they're fat. Absolutely. And, I mean, but, and rightfully so, because, you know, for one... Depending on where you live, you don't have access to, like, so I live in Tennessee, and sidewalks were... Yeah, but no, girl, keep doing what you're doing. I'm so glad just after one week, you're down eight freaking pounds. Um, but other than that, keep me updated. I know you're going to keep calling in, letting me know the results you keep getting. So keep doing it. You're not just motivating yourself. You're motivating everybody else who's listening. And one of your calls might finally get somebody to start. That's why, that's why I decided to call. I was like, listen, and I was one of his last week callers that is already starting to see physical, you know, results, pound results, even though you don't like the scale. Um, <laughs> but even like mental results too. I'm just, I'm genuinely happy with the amount of energy that I have with how I am even being as like a wife and a mom. And it's just a week. Yeah. So, and I promise everybody who's listening, if I can do it with my super busy life. I could give you my testimony, but it would take too long. <laughs> anybody could do it. I swear to you, anybody could do it. I freaking love it. Seriously, appreciate you calling in. Have an amazing rest of your day. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
One week, down eight freaking pounds starting. Ladies and gents, just start. The free step-by-step -step plan is on the site, fullertonnutrition.com.